All right, good afternoon, everybody. It is 12:10, uh, July the 20th, and it's amazing times we're in, you guys. Amazing times. It's extremely hot and humid out here. I don't see where. Uh, I drive by a little beach area coming up here. I only seen two people out there laying in the sun, and I was thinking to myself. You don't have to lay in the sun to get a suntan here. It's so hot and humid. You get burned before you know it. <clears throat> He's coming with his indignation. Okay, you guys. I was sharing with another lady. Went down to the farmer's market and I put some these signs that I got. I put them around the vehicles and on the back of uh, Farmer John's truck. And... Uh, one lady made a comment saying, I like your signs on your truck. And I had some magnets. And I said, would you like one for free? So we're not selling them. It's free. No, no, no. Don't don't want that. They don't want to put it on the vehicle. You know, they don't want to be, I guess, seen with it. I don't know. And uh, another, John was telling me how these other people down the way think it's odd, strange that I would have these things on my vehicle like I do. And, uh, and it's just because they don't know the times that we're in. They don't know what's about to happen. There's been so many uh, false calls, crying wolf things, but there's never been signs like we have today. Um, just like a president named Obama Nation, in a nation, Obama Nation. And then right after that, a, a President Trump. Scripture says at the last Trump and then his vice president is Pence. When you put those two together, Trump Pence. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the writing's on the wall. There's so many other different signs, but yet the only people that are really meant to uh, receive and understand are those that are chosen and predestined. Okay? Cuz it said many were called but few were chosen. And if you're not able to understand those are obvious signs. And everything else in Scripture is coming together. You know, like, even like the uh, um, the LGBT community. Okay, LGBT. Now, we know we had a covenant with God. The rainbow, not to destroy the world again. You guys, God loves everybody. He's going to put this, put it right in your face. He's going to wave it in your face. Not only that scripture says, pride comes before the destruction. Okay? They're waving it in your face. They have parades everywhere. And it's called LGBT community. Pride parades. The covenant. The rainbow on the flag. He's making it so obvious that, uh, you know, and... We tried talking with these people that are under the delusion. Scripture says if they would open their heart so that Jesus, his marvelous light, could come into their heart so that he could heal them. And they still won't do it. And a lot of people, you guys, I mean, I've, I've had where people totally don't want to be around me. They, don't, they can't hear what I'm saying, even as obvious as it is. A lot of people believe what the government says, that we have an ozone problem. The government's been saying for 30 years. Okay, this is spiritual. They've been, we have a sin problem is what it is. They've been murdering children since 1973 legally. And most people can't accept or acknowledge that. Um, this is going to be a short video, you guys. I've got, I've got two more. Plus the one I read this morning. Um, you guys, I can put these things together all day. Every day. I go over a lot of these scriptures that nobody wants to talk about. And these scriptures are like correction. They correct the unsound uh, teaching that's being done today. The scriptures are true. Because they're written by holy men. by the holy, Inspired by the Holy Spirit. Okay, but the problem is they're not giving you the full doctrine. 
That's why it said all scripture is given for um, correction to you. And they're not, they won't receive that. And scripture tells you why. And they don't go over that either. Um, anyhow, you guys, listen. Let us be strong in the Lord. And uh, I'm going to just go in and cool off. I might come out this evening and do do a video. I'll choose one of these two to do. Yeah, you know, and just be strong in the Lord, you guys. Just be strong. Abide in Him. He's and He loves us all. He doesn't wish anybody to perish. But He's putting the signs right out there for people to see. If they would just open their hearts and believe. You know, and see it. But the love of the world love of the world you guys yeah scripture says love not this world nor the things that are in it yeah Satan's a prince of this place they don't talk about that no more and I can see why people are not receiving what I'm saying and I, and I can see why people want to avoid everything that I do and it's been this way since I started in 2014 yeah been this way and, uh, and I went across the country for a reason you know God knows and I did it and uh, I go with expectations believing that the Lord is going to use me wherever I go whatever I'm doing and just like I'm getting ready to go to is to Jerusalem this time okay it'll be my second time going Never in my life have I ever planned on doing anything like this. But I do go by where I'm led. And uh, this is what somebody else is doing. Wanting to send me. And I know that the Spirit, He says He'll guide us. You know, as long as we're doing what He wants us to do. He'll guide our steps. Be strong in the Lord, you guys. Believe. Have faith. And believe, knowing the truth. Because uh, he knows those that do. You know, he abides in us. You know, those that know the truth. There's a reason for all this, you guys. God bless you. I love you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.